Hello YouTube, this is Shirley426, and today we have the review of the Gundam Converge 154, uh, the Gundam Seskun. Now that's how Korea pronounces it, I'm pretty sure there's another more, you know, professional or official pronunciation, but let's just stick to that. Now my original plan was to come back from work, uh, and then film the RG Talgies 2 review, and then, or make a review of the Gundam Convert, another Gundam Converge series, uh, or the EX series, but I just wanted to do to this, uh, to do this because uh, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, Bandai made a announcement regarding a SD cross fluid of these two Gundams, which is very surprising because these two are very, well, number one, they're non-canon as far as I know. Number two, not many people know about it. Uh, and number three, they're very unique because they are a Gundam, but with a mono eye. I mean, well, granted, there are some cases that we know, but um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to see that that Bandai is actually trying to make a kit that not many people actually know about. I mean, mobile suit, I mean. So anyway, this is going to be a Gundam Converge review, and I will be talking about regarding the story or any information I know regarding this mobile suit. Now, first of all, the Gundam Converge line, this is from the number 6 series, which which has the Heavy Arms Custom, the Wing Gundam e EW, Gundam Mark II Titans, Humbrabi, and the Titans color of this Gundam Sisku, which I have both. Uh, I do not have the box of the Titans color because I bought this one as a second-hand version. This one I bought, actually bought a, a mint condition version, so yeah. Uh, Japan actually sells a lot of Gundam Converges in second-hand, sometimes in mint condition, but there's... In mint conditions, but there are a lot of shops that sell secondhand Gundam Converges, and they're pretty much good as new. Okay, so let's put away the box and let's talk about the Converge first. Now, there's two of them. There, one is the Eugo color, and one is the Titans color, and similar to how the Mark II is, because um, as I mentioned, these are non-canon, and um, story-wise, I believe. Or the way how you can find or see the Gundam Seskun is two ways. Number one is the from is from the SDG Generation series game. Um, also, the recent one would be the SDG Generation Genesis, the free DLC download where you can use the Seskun Elgo colors. So that's one way. And according to the wiki, there's also a manga called SDG Generation Monoai Gundams. Now I haven't read that manga. Uh, I wish I could or I can find one, but. Basically, it mentions that it's a non-canon Universal Century uh, st uh, story. It takes time. Uh, the time takes after the One Year War, around where the Gundam Mark II was made. So yeah, it's a non-canon series. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Eugo color because it's my camera does not like to take dark. Has trouble taking dark, uh, you know, footage or dark objects. So the way how this works is that. You get the Gundam Siskun itself, and you get its main weapon, which is a basically a I feel generator, but which can be also be used as a weapon, which is very nice. So uh, the color is very you know Gundam Mark II. -ish. We have the white, yellow, black, and a little bit of red. So yeah, and if when, when I said Monoai Gundam, it actually is a Monoai Gundam. Hopefully you can see the the Monoai over there. So. Oh boy. Uh, so, yeah, that's, there's nothing too special regarding Gundam Converge. As I mentioned multiple times, you buy these for collecting, not for any gimmicks, because there's no articulation. I'm just going to say that. Uh, the eye field genera generator, the way how this is connected, is that there's actually a peg on the hand, which is pretty uncommon from the Converge series, but basically you put in that middle hole and you, you're pretty good to go. And we can see the big I feel generator with a lot of good detail. I believe this part is a handle. This one does not move, but if you play the G, the G Generation Genesis game and use the unit, you might have seen how this works. Absolutely love this unique weapon. And there's actually a model number over there. Um, I don't see much panel line opportunity for this. I mean, it, even though there was, I don't think it's too necessary because it looks pretty good as well. But if you want to, there's some lines on the leg, and this one uses the black sand. Um, yeah. Now, the design itself looks very slick. But I believe the if you check the wiki, the design of or the drawing of the mobile suit is kind of chunky. The, the, the legs or sides are very large. So, yeah. Uh, I believe there is some sort of transformation, but not like a wave rider, but it's like a more uh, a homing mode or something like that. 
in the in the Genesis. You don't actually transform, but it it transforms into that sort of weird mode and like flies around. But yeah, so the way you, the components would be the main body, including the legs. And then you can take off the head if you want to. You can take off the wings if you want to, and then you can take off the arms and hands. Uh, yeah, the wings kind of pop out on mine. So yeah, that's pretty much what I know regarding the uh, Cisco Gundam. I mean, the weapon this can can make an eye field, uh, but also can fire the eye field as a weapon. So that's pretty unique. So getting an SD cross silhouette, I say, is pretty much better than nothing. I mean, I've seen comments asking, saying people why not an HG or not an MG Reborns 100, whatever. Considering that this is a non-canon Gundam and not many people actually know about it, I say SD Cross Silhouette is a great start. Who knows, maybe if the Cross Silhouette sells like really like crazy like hotcakes, we might actually see a high grade or even up to something bigger in the future. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the Gundam Converger is not much to show. I mean, I, this is the Aogo, the Titans version. Now the color-wise, I do like the Titans color because, you know, it's more Gundam... I mean, like the Titans Gundam Mark II, I do love the dark color scheme. It has a more, you, you know, more, you know, unique vibe com compared to the Aogo color. Yep, the wing keeps popping out. Anyway, uh... As I mentioned, the Gundam Converge figures, these are like 7 to $8. Now, in Japan, if you go to Japan, some Gundam, Com Gundam Converges, even though they're originally 7 to $8, some of them are being sold as for $15 or even higher sometimes. So keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully, um, once again, hopefully this is just a simple Gundam Converge review that I mentioned that I will be doing more and more often. It's just so that Bandai has released a announcement regarding this as a SD cross silhouette, so I thought it was a good time to make a review or gun to converge talk regarding this mobile suit. Anyway, hope you guys, hopefully this, you guys had a good time, and hopefully you guys understand my schedule because my part time job is literally killing me. Until then, see you guys next time.